We'll have more attendants to speak. So I would like to ask Judy Graves, who would like to, um, who would like to speak next. Um, I just got this quote um, from the uh, a report. Canada needs a national housing strategy as a vehicle for social inclusion. It was a quote from a report on housing in Canada. So Trudeau, if you're here, a message for Trudeau, please keep that in mind. Because you said that during your campaign that you'll have a national housing strategy, right? Liar! <laughs> well, he did say that. Okay, Judy Craves? <coughs> Wendy? Oh, hi. Welcome, Judy. Oh, thank you, everybody, for coming, for supporting the tenants. This is a momentous occasion, and it should have happened many years ago, but now we have Wendy Peterson, who is doing a brilliant job of leadership. We have tenants who are willing to fight for their rights, for the right to housing. And you know, most people who live in Canada believe that they have, that people in Canada have a right to housing. They believe that people in Canada have a right to clean water. They believe that people in Canada have a right to food. But we do not have any of those rights in Canada. We're completely dependent on the whim of government. We're completely dependent on the whim of landlords. I've been working in the Sohota hotels with the tenants since I think 1992, 1993. And I can tell you the conditions in there have gone from bad to worse. There have been times when the city did enforce and we were able to uh, bring the conditions up, but somehow the city has lost the will to enforce. And when these hotels are allowed to deteriorate like this, we are causing homelessness. The only thing that stands between the tenants of the downtown east side and absolute street homelessness are the walls of these hotels. I can't understand why the city is not protecting the hotels and I cannot oh, and I cannot understand why why a landlord, why the Sohotas would let their investment deteriorate like this. But I do understand that now that the organization is beginning, that we have a way to fight back, that we need to consider this, not that the project is over because these tenants have been relocated. The next tenants in the next hotel are not going to find vacant rooms anywhere. We've got to consider this the beginning of the fight. And I encourage you all to keep coming back to make this work.